Is this still the city of love? This improv story is based on the idea man buys a new washing machine let the story commence. Craig needed a new washing machine, his last one kept ripping the clays. Didn't know how, he felt round the inside, he didn't feel any of his spiky bits stick out. Just kept ripping the fucking clays, maybe got caught in the, the bit that doesn't move and the bit that does move. But drag it and rip it. We didn't know. We got a guy in charging about fifty quid just for the fucking call out fee and said, "I don't know what it is." So he thought, I'll "Get, I'll get, I'll get a new one." And he's looking at all the news. See the stuff you can do with what the washing machines can do these days. Why connect it to your fucking apps to check like? Oh, the, so. The guy in the shop went like that. You can actually check to see the progress, you know, and you can, you know, set it when you're out. He said, why would, how, how would I set it when I'm out? I mean, I can't exactly put the washing in. You put the washer in the washing machine and then, you know, you go out and then uh, if you think I'm going to be back about this time, I could set the washing. If you ever, uh, you know, when you put the wash, you leave the washing in for too long, wet clothes get a bit smelly. Aye, said Craig. So you, if you're, if you're, I, I say you're, you're working in an office. Aye, you work in an office and you stick the washing, washing, in, uh, and then you can sort of set it so that when you come back, it's kind of it's finished. So you just pull it out. You know, it's just finished. All right, I would, I would just sort of normally set the timer for that and just set it for. You know, I think my mold one had a delay in it. I could go right, don't date for four hours and. Or, or I would just wash the clothes when I get back. I'd just stick it on when I get back. It only lasts about an hour. So this is... I. But the thing is, have you ever went to went to your work? What's your name again? I didn't tell you. It's Craig. Craig, have you ever been to your, your office and then you think you're leaving at five and you're going to be back for six, but in fact you've got to stay a wee bit late? And then if you're staying a bit late and then... That's never happened to me though. Then if you're staying... Don't interrupt. Just for a second, Craig. I've got, I don't like... Getting spoke now. And he's had his eyes shut like that. That, the guy's serving. Right, so... Right. Um, so, have you ever... Have you ever... Had to stay a wee bit late? Right, th I but I've never really set the wash machine. Well, well, you can date now, though. You can date now. How'd you dry your clothes? Carol? Carl, 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 Carol, what, Carol, Carol, as in C-A-R-L, Carol Lewis, long jump, what are you on about, your name, what's your name, Craig, right, if you, who, Carol, no, no Carol, C-A-R-O-L, like, um, Dina Carroll, in fact, like uh, Carol King, so which is C-A-R, C-A-R, what are you on about? Give us a second. C-A-R-O-L-E, I think, actually. Doesn't matter, your name's Craig. Aye. Um, ha have you ever, let's say you've came back for work, well, just how much is this washing machine? Give me a second. It's my job to, to tell you about these things. Because at the end of this, you're going to be marking me. There's a wee, you know, when you walk, you know, the, you know, when you press, there's a wee button, are you happy with your service? Un, unhappy, frowning face, smiley face. They can track that to me. They can track that. All right, well, I'm, I'm now, I'll give you five stars. It's no stars, it's a smiley face. Well, I'll give you a smiley face anyway, don't worry. Well, no, I want I want to earn it. I'm not, I'm not I'm not trying to bend your ear here. They've, they've sometimes got kind of secret spy people for the company that come in and um they want to check to see if employees are going like going to please give me a smiley face, going to please you know like they're not earning it. Do you know what I mean? The day things like that they come in and test. Um, so I want to earn it. I mean, you right now could be a spy. Craig went like, I don't, I, I can't, you've lost me. The guy went, are you a spy? Just look, look at my eyes and tell me, are you a spy? Craig went, I just want to buy a washing machine. The guy went, right. 
Have you ever so with a st- like so we've established that you don't normally set the washing like on a delay so that you you it's just washed by the time you come home and then you can pull it out before it gets all stinky. You don't normally do that, but you have done it before, and you? You have left the clays in too long before. Craig went, I've done it before, right, but I don't do it that often. Well, you can date, you can date now. You can make it better. Make it make it better. Listen. You're no listening. You're no listening. And Craig went, I don't like your attitude. I don't think you're going to get a smiley face that way. And and, and the guy said, listen, I'm, my name's John, right? My name's John, right? I'm willing to take a wee step back here to take two steps forward. One step back to take two steps forward. I'm willing to piss you off by talking to you this way because I want to tell you the reason why I'm doing it. I care about washing machines. So if you're a spy, if you're a spy, if I'm getting recorded, I care about my job and I care about these washing machines, right? I care. No. With this washing machine, what you're going to be able to do is, you know how you said you don't ever put the washing in and then, you know, delay it, and then by the time you get home, it sort of starts the washing at, say, let's say you come home at six, it doesn't start until about five, let's say you put it on an oil wash, so by the time you come back, it's already take it out, doesn't get, it's not sitting in there for too long, doesn't get all stinking, right? Right, like, you know, like, you, you, that, like you, you get how that's up. That'd be good if that would that would happen. It come, you know, get it perfectly. Would you agree? Yes. Right. Would you agree that sometimes you don't know when you're going to be coming back? Like you might set it for, to, to, so you can pull it out at six. I but no no no. Would you agree that sometimes you don't know? You know, you could men, end up coming back at seven, eight. Sometimes maybe you go out for a, a wee drink with your colleagues after work, and you come home and your clothes are stinking, in the washing machine. Aye, but I just normally just wash them when I come in. Right? Are you listening? Are you listening? Aye. Right? Craig into it. Right? See? So I'm remembering your name. Now, you said something like sometimes when you come home at night, when you come back for what, then you stick the washing on. Aye, that's what I'm saying, so I don't really do the delay stuff that much. Right, but listen... Have you ever done that? And then the washing finishes and a bit, you know, you're a bit kind of busy. You're making your dinner and then you're like, fuck, I've got to take the clothes out. Um, have you ever done that? And by the time the next, how do you dry your clothes? Dryer or hang them up? I hang them up. I don't dry across a fortune. Right. I don't got to dry it anyway. Right, right, right. If you leave it too late, by the next day, they're still a bit damp. You kind of wear them. Aye, right. Well, this way, you've got an extra hour. You've got an extra hour to play with. Do you know what I mean? Like if it takes an if it takes an hour for you to put a washing in, in fact it probably take a wee bit longer. Craig went, gonna get to the point. John said. So what you can do is in the morning, stick your clays in the washing machine, right? Just stick them in, stick the powder in, and switch the thing on, and and, and all the rest of it, right? Right. Where the app, it connects to the Wi-Fi in your house, the the washing machine, right? Aye. And then you can set it to go on and work with your phone. And you can check the progress. You can check the progress. And Craig went, I don't really... I don't need all that. It's just... I mean, what 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 if I what if I go like that? Right, all right, start it, right, start it, and it gets started. And then my boss comes there and goes like that. Oh, Craig, would you mind staying for a wee bit later? And then, you know, what I did, I did, I stop it. You can stop it, but is that no stopping it mid wash? Does that no? I'll be honest with you, I'm on commission, right? I don't care if you're a spicy, if a spy ever gets sacked, I need this fucking money. Listen, mate, I'm fucking pratted. Do people still use that word, pratted? Aye, take it means skin. Aye, but did you just sort of work that out? Because I said, I need the money, I'm pratted. 
did you know that the word prated means skint? I mean, I said, I've not got any, I, I need the money. I, I could have said any word after that. And you would have went, oh, that must be slang for skint. Did you know that prated meant skint? I mean, I could have went like that. Listen, I really need the money. I'm pure uh, padded. I'm padded right now. Even though padded sounds like your, your pockets are padded up with fucking notes. You know, tenors and things like that. I could have said padded. I could, I could have said cupped. Cupped. And you'd have been like, oh, oh cupped. Oh, that must mean skint. As if you're cupping your horns. Like, oh, God, he's, he's a few fucking quid. Eh? Fucking skint like that. Cupping your horns. Or penned. I'm penned. I need the money. I'm fucking penned right now. You know, you would probably go, oh, oh pen must mean skin. Probably comes for, you know, like, somebody with a pen going like that. All right, and I'll write down your, this is how much you owe me. All right, I'll get, I'll get a tenner, right? Write your name down. You owe me a tenner. You know, like that. Did you know that Pratted, and pr I know that Pratted means skin, aye. So I don't care if you're a fucking spy. If I get sacked, good. Don't care, don't care. Could you please buy this washing machine? Craig went, what? H how much is it? Wi-Fi fucking washing machines are fucking real. Wait, I got the Y dash fi Smart smart washing machine. Um What what do you do then? Oh Smart con smart control plus gives a smart washing experience with an easy to use control panel that remembers your laundry habits. That's not what I want. Smart things app. That's what I want. Lets you schedule your fucking wash for anywhere. There it is. It's real. I knew it'd be fucking real. Available on Android. Smart things. What is it? So So, how much does it cost? Uh, 850. 850. That's a hell of a lot. That's how much wash machines cost. Really? Let me have a look. No, it is. Don't bother looking. All right. Craig bought it. Got it up the road. Uh, on his way out, he pressed it. The, there's five buttons. F uh, frown. Smiley face. Right in the middle is like straight like that. And there's an in-betweeny one in, on either side. You know, like, instead of smile, it's like this. Instead of frown like that, it's like this. There's a bit of that, that there. That kind of thing. Um, Craig did the one that was just one, it was like four out of five in terms of happiness. Because he had to be honest, fuck it. Got the washing machine up the road. Plugged it on and went, right, well, let, let, let's give this a wee test then. And he installed it up. You know what? It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. He might not actually need need it, but it's a wee bit, it's a wee bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Um, easy to fucking install yourself, by the way. Instructions on how to do it. Lots of YouTube videos. How to do it. He managed to do it himself. Took his old washing machine, put it out the back, uh, phoned up the council and said, I want you to take us away. I paid my fucking tax. I paid my council tax. Take this washing machine away. Paid my fucking tax. I paid my council tax. That's what you paid for. Take away my washing machine, please. Thank you. No ifs or buts. They took it away the next fucking day. Amazing. For free. If you call council tax free. Um. So he tried it with the app. Put his washing in, and he thought, you know what? Let's go into the deep end. Let's like, go to work and, and, and try it all. Went to work. Uh, went like that, right? He's like, ah, looking at his phone. His boss came in, went like that. 
Right, that's enough. I told you to stop looking at Twitter and go on with your work. Craig. And Craig went, but here's the thing. I'm not looking at Twitter. This is going to allow me to some, sometimes stay a wee bit later or no. I'm, I'm more flexible now because I can stick my washing on anytime I want. Boss. I, I can stay anytime you want, boss. And boss went like, you know what, that sounds good. Would you be able to stay an extra couple of hours tonight? We'll get some pizzas in, get this work smashed. And Craig went, aye, because I can do all that. Boss didn't give two fucks. So, Craig went, boss, boss, I think we're ready to leave in a bit. Ready to leave, kind of soon. Aye, but another half hour. It's not a half hour, right? I think I can get time to do it. Are you sure, boss? Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. Something like that. Right, let's do it. On. That was it. Said it was on. And it had a wee icon, you know, for the wee scushing the water into the, um, the wee tray for the washing up powder and, and all the rest of it. Uh, and he was looking at it and it says, and, and it, a wee, a wee animation, it gone running and run. He's like, this is fucking excellent. This is fucking excellent. It's just a, just a bit of fun, you know, your washing machine's doing that. He, time to leave, he got to the train. On the train, uh, he looked at his phone again and it said, stopped, um, obstruction or something. Oh, what was that? Obstruction, something about obstructions caught in the something. Oh, fucking hell. Is that gonna is this gonna be the same as my fucking old washing machine? It can't you know, it's all caught up and got in the house, opened the door. Noticed that the front door was already open. The lock had been fucking kicked in. Um and he's like, what the fuck is this? He went, hello? Wait, the washing machine. John was in it. John was in the washing machine. He'd man, he'd, man, he'd couldn't get his, the whole body in, but... He was up, up, kind of up to his arse, kind of up to, he couldn't get his hips in, got his legs in. He's like hanging out it like he was, like like he was hanging at the back of a, a fucking horse, like he was a foal. You know, like a foal, hanging out it. And John went like that. He's cat, there's no point in going on. You got me to fucking sack you, cunt. There's no point in going on. And Craig went like, it's having to lift for me. Come on. I'm going to go out for a few drinks, man. And him, Craig and John, went out and got fucking leathered. Leathered. I don't mean battered. I mean, like, fucking wrecked. Steaming. Craig and John, John the guy that worked at the shop, and John went like at the end of the night, he said, this is a fucking, this, this, I really needed this. I really needed this. Oh, well. Oh, I'm hitting the fucking miseries now. The what? I'm just sad. Well, this has been good, but I've got no fucking job. I'm fucked. And Craig went, you're going to be living with me now. And he went, huh? Huh? Went, you're going to be living with me now. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Sloth for the Goonies. Huh? You're going to be living with me now. And I'm getting you a job. I'm getting you a job. What's the job? See the app? I'm sick of this AI stuff. Taking people's jobs. Started off for the Industrial Revolution, steam engine, all the 
the the mills and you know the the the, the, the looms and all that shit. Putting good boys out of work. Good boys out of work. No. Good boys are out of washing work. The app uninstalled. I want you to wash the clays manually with a washboard and a big bucket. And I'm going to pay you. Two fifty a day, and John went two fi- two pounds fifty a day. That includes your lodging and your bre- your breakfast. That breakfast that's a good breakfast, by the way. That will keep you going all fucking day. A good breakfast. And we're just talking about a bowl of cereal. Good breakfast really keep you going all day. Full day of work. That's not real lot. I better go and speak to what you want to get a fucking union involved, says Craig. Would you not rather spend that money on the latest game console? Or maybe it's uh, going to a baseball game with the boys? John went. Uh, Can I, I'll maybe speak to no, I'm not speak to any union or anything but I'll maybe speak to a pal who, that, you walk out that door don't come back said Craig because there's a ton of people out there looking for work up to you and John went how long have I got you got till the end of this song and I went, did it, did it, kind of cut it short, went, did it, did it, did it, did it, So what's it going to be? And, and John went, first of all, thank you for the offer. And Craig went, this better not be an all, by the way. You're making a big mistake. Thank you for the offer. I'm going to, Craig went, big mistake if you turn this down, by the way. Big mistake. Make make it three 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 quid. Three quid. Three quid a day then. Go up to three. John went, thank you. Thank you for the offer. I've got to reject your offer. And Craig went like big mistake. Get out. And John said, I'm not going anywhere. And Craig went, what? You fucking dare speak to me like that? And John went, because I'm staying in the job. I reject that offer of 250. I want to give you money. Craig went, give me money. He said, you know how I said there's spies and things like that? And you know, like... Uh, employees and to check up I'm a secret boss alright what you on about I'm no but I don't work here what you on about it's my house he said you know the you know the company that you came to for the washing machine Curry's aye I'm a boss I'm the actual boss and I think you're a fucking good guy who's ready to give me work there. Craig went, but I, I'm I don't work in I don't work in curries. Sure, the whole secret boss thing is like the boss goes about his own company and checks to see how the employees are doing with the employees knowing that he's actually the fucking boss. Craig went, you know, do you know what I mean? John went, hold on. Oh. You know, somebody said something like that. I didn't even know. I didn't know what they were talking about. Somebody said that. I, 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 was, I was saying, well, actually my wife, I said, I was explaining, and she said a few things. I didn't quite get what she was saying. That's what she fucking meant. That's what she meant. 
Right, so it's, I've gone... Right, so I would be doing up with my employees. Right, 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 right. So what are you then? What, how do you... Craig went like, what? what? Right, so I can just, I'll just go then. That's us finished. Craig went, I, do, do what you want, mate. And John went, right, so, all right, I'll start then. And he left, and just as he was gone out, three wee guys came out and went, get his fucking brain out, man, the end. Kicked his brain right out of his fucking skull. And that's a true story. That's a true story. That's not improv, by the way, it's actually... 99% of it is true. Uh, there's one or two wee name changes. How do I know? See one of the three, it was three wee guys. See one of the wee guys. That was me. But I didn't take part in it. I actually was horrified. And I got out of that whole way of life. After that. Guy was then fuck all. Seemed like an alright guy. Kicked his fucking brain out. I feel fucking shite about it, man. I still have nightmares. I still have nightmares. The funny... Uh, Curries, the funny thing is we went for a curry that night after it, not, not knowing his name. His name was coincidentally Tim Curry. Nothing to do with Tim Curry. And uh, and did you know what's his fucking name? Here. Uh, just to change the subject. Has Tim Curry ever met Tim Rice? Hey! Uh, Tim Rice. Right? Lyricist. Tim Curry. Right? Tim Curry. Tim Rice. Tim Curry and Tim Rice should collaborate as Curry and Rice. <laughs> That's in a, 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 a Facebook post. For 2013. Now that's banter, man. Now that is banter. 